As well as working in Virotech, I've got my own consultancy since 2007 called Sustainable Oceans International, which is a consultancy that's dedicated to advancing artificial reef design, artificial reefs for impact mitigation, reef restoration, mitigating dredging impacts, for example. We've worked in a number of different countries. We've conducted a number of coal relocations, for example, saving coals that are imperiled due to dredging activities, moving them out of the way into a safe location. We've advanced a lot of new artificial reef building techniques and pioneering new materials. We are the first in the world to use a construction size 3D printer. We're in the Guinness Book of Records for that. Um, that's quite exciting new technology that's getting better and better every year and something that we're continually um, working with and advancing the use of 3D prints. And our goal is to build reefs that look like natural reefs. So you don't even know they're man-made after six months. They blend in and they work and they function um, as good or better than a natural reef. It's part of our philosophy and part of our drive to, um, for mitigation and restoration techniques. We believe nature deserves that respect. There's enough man-made objects in the ocean as it is. So that's one of the things that I do through Sustainable Oceans International. But another exciting concept that we're rolling out through Envirotech is Reef CPR, which is literally first aid that recreational divers can use. It's actually for the reef. So it's just like CPR, it's the first aid that you use when you come across a damaged coal, for example. And it's giving the tool to all the recreational divers out there. Because let's face it, there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of recreational divers that are diving around on reefs. And some of those are actually causing some of the damage that needs to be repaired. And I know most divers are motivated to repair any damage that they come across. And they get very frustrated at seeing toppled corals or corals that have been flipped over by a storm or an anchor chain or plastic or fishing line wrapped around corals or fishing nets wrapped around corals. And they want to do something about it but they don't have the knowledge and the skills to do it. So that's where we're partnering with Envirotech to roll out the Reef CPR program through the students and through the dive centers. And that's where we run a program educating them on the 10 different steps involved in helping save a coal. And Reef CPR, the CPR stands for three key steps. Those first, first aid response when you come across something. So the C, the C in CPR stands for control the cause of the impact. For first up, when we get to a damaged site, we want to control what's causing the impact. P stands for preparing the substrate for natural recovery, because nature is just absolutely fantastic at natural recovery by itself in most cases. So once you've controlled what was causing the impact to the coral reef, then you can prepare the substrate for natural recolonization. You got R, which is your replanting. So that's where you use everything from coal nurseries, coal, um, coal relocations to replant the area with coals, reintroduce coals into that area. And there might be hardier coals too, for example. So there's your C, P and R, the three key steps that we use in Reef CPR. And this is something that the students are getting involved in and having those skills and those knowledge to do when they're out there in the workforce and introducing Reef CPR to other dive centers that they might be working at, for example. And we also run projects. For example, we've been running trips to, to Bali, where we've been helping out the North Bali Reef Conservation guys who are doing a fantastic job on the north side of Bali. Um, we've been taking divers from Australia and running them through a 10-day reef CPR course where they get to actually save corals and actually rebuild reefs. And ultimately, what we're looking to do, a group of people that are reef CPR trained. So when there's that storm event or ship grounding, we can mobilize an army of trained people that can go to the site and rescue corals that otherwise would die. There's a lot of motivated divers, a lot of motivated students that would want to do that. And we can call them up and organize such trips during a, you know, a catastrophic event of some type. There's plenty of damage that's happening out there on the reefs as it is in the high use areas that reef CPR can help. So, that's an introduction to SOI. 
and reach CPR that the students are getting involved in and playing a key role in helping promote and conduct around the world. Especially when COVID's finished up, we'll be able to fly again and get involved in international projects because um, we've got a lot of interest and a lot of demand overseas, especially in the Middle East. But of course, at the moment, we can't get there. So if you need any more information, feel free to talk to me about it or talk to one of our students and they'll happily tell you all about it. Thank you very much.